we'll talk about the basic aspects of the immune system as it would lay a foundation to understand the immune system changes in COVID and following COVID-19 vaccination. Any country has a defense system which consists of the police, the army, the air force, the navy, and they defend against danger against the country. Similarly, the body has the immune system that acts as the defense system when it sees a virus, a bacteria, fungi, or any danger signal. You have the innate immune system, which is the first part of the immune system, and the adaptive immune system, which consists of antibodies, lymphocytes as part of white cells, and another component called complement. Sometimes you find that the immune system does not function properly or they're underactive and then you have immune deficiency. Sometimes they attack the own body cells and then you get autoimmunity. And sometimes the immune system reacts against innocuous substance in the environment such as house dust mite, grass, tree pollen, and that is called allergy. So these aspects are very important with regards to keeping the body safe. We have different formed elements in blood. We have the red blood cells, the platelets, and white cells, in, which include the lymphocytes, the monocytes, the neutrophil, the eosinophil, and basophil. So these are what you would see the values in a full blood count report. What do they do? The red blood cells with hemoglobin carry oxygen. The platelets are important in clotting, and the white cells are important in fighting infection. So these act in concert together. If we look at the neutrophils and macrophages, these are very important cells of the innate immune system, first part of the immune system that recognizes the danger signal. Together with other cells like mast cells, they act in concert as the cellular part of the innate immune system. Then we have the lymphocytes. You have T lymphocytes, B lymphocytes, natural killer lymphocytes. The T lymphocytes is named because after it comes out of the bone marrow, it goes to the thymus and gets educated there. They go to nursery there. And if they are not dangerous, they are put out into uh, the helpful, they are put out into the bloodstream. The ones that are dangerous are taken away. The B lymphocytes come out from the bone marrow directly and these cells the B lymphocytes produce antibodies and the T lymphocytes can be divided into CD4 cells and CD8 cells based on some molecule on their surface. So CD8 cells are cytotoxic T cells, they kill virus infected cells and other cells and CD4 cells are helper T cells which help different parts of the immune system. What about antibodies? I told you B cells become another cell called plasma cells and produce antibodies. Antibodies or immunoglobulins are very important because they go and neutralize different organisms. And you have the IgE antibody, E for Edward, which is important in allergy. And then you have the G antibody, the M antibody, and the A antibody. So these are produced following an infection and are very, very important. This is the structure of antibody molecule. You don't have to know great detail, but it recognizes the harmful agent and takes effective action. So if you put this in context, you have the virus, which is called, which is the antigen, is recognized by the antigen presenting cell, APC. It's taken, it's processed, it's made tasty and put forward to the T lymphocyte and the B lymphocyte. The B lymphocyte will finally produce immunoglobulins through the plasma cell or antibodies. And the T lymphocyte either kills or it produces cytokines and chemokines. Now, what are cytokines and chemokines? Cytokines you would have heard a lot about with regards to COVID. Cytokines are just the means by which immune cells talk to each other. Like we use language, English, similar. They use cytokines, chemokines, etc. The level should be sufficient but not excessive because it causes damage if it is excessive. The immune system, once you have an initial exposure to a danger signal, you have a primary immune response. As you can see there, it is marginal. 
And then if there's a secondary response, there is a secondary exposure, there's a secondary immune response, which is very much more magnified than the primary response. Similar with the viral infection, it takes some time for the immune response to come. And that is important because just because you give, see a virus at that time, you wouldn't have the immune response come in in a day. It takes a bit of time. That is the antibody response I'm talking, the adaptive immune response. It takes some time. And if you have a secondary exposure, then you have a very much higher response. But this is exactly what we're trying to do with vaccines. If we can prime the body to have the immune response so that when it sees the virus or the bacteria, it is primed and it makes a rapid and a high response so that it can get rid of the organism. If you get infected, you will get a response. That's true, but it takes time for the immune system to develop that response and people could die in that period. So what happens in COVID? You have certain cells, numbers are increased, certain others are reduced, some cells are activated, there's increased amount of cytokines, and then you have cytokine storms, etc., which are neutralized by certain drugs. And these are the changes that occur during COVID, which I'll go into detail in a further video. And then you have IgG. IgA, IgM antibodies developing at different time points. And you can see that. And the CD4 cells and CD8 cells against the virus developing at different time points. All those levels will come up and then they will reduce. And we want something called immune memory because there must be some memory of this virus or bacteria so that when the body sees the virus or bacteria in the future, it will be able to respond very much faster and more robustly to get rid of the organism. So in this short video, I've told you the different components of the immune system, the innate immune system, the adaptive immune system with antibodies and lymphocytes, getting rid of viruses, bacteria, and fungi, and told you that the immune deficiency can occur if there is underact to the immune system and autoimmunity and allergy can occur if there is a dysregulated immune response, which is seen in some patients. Thank you very much.